Well, no. as I say, it, it didn't directly bear fruit um, in the fields that I was studying uh, for a while, for a year or two. Uh, while I was working with Hart, I was working through those, those issues and to some extent, um, to only a minor extent, they sh surfaced in the thesis that I was writing. But uh, I didn't really find anything very satisfying until on that front until um, I'd finished the doctorate and gone to Berkeley, California to a, a job at the lowest level of, of law school teaching, which gave huge opportunities for just weeks and weeks and weeks in the library, open shelves library, wonderful, after the Bodley and everything buried. Um, and there I came across the work of Griset, um, first uh, uh, by way of a, of a book review of his of the work of the Canadian Jesuit Bernard Lonergan on Insight, which, which I'd been working on in Oxford a lot. And Insight is a, is a tremendous critique of, of um, empiricism, but with a completely unsuccessful chapter on practical reason. Um, and so that was satisfying, but uh, dis unsatisfying. And, and Griset's book review of it, uh, I'd never heard of Griset, um, uh, didn't have much to say about uh, those aspects of the book, but it was very interesting as a critique of the rest of the book. And so I was alerted to his name when I stumbled in a bookshop in Berkeley on his first book on ethical matters. And I read that several times, and that's what gave me the opportunity to get into the, uh, the whole theory of first principles of practical reason and the foundations of ethics done more or less adequately. So the, in those respects, the conversion to Christianity, Orthodox Christianity, um, was more a matter of clearing the ground um, and predisposing me to, to be alert to something satisfactory, but it took a while. Um, to find. <laughs>